Hey guys, it's Rudy Stankwitz, and I have yet another demonstration for you. And if you are a fan of borates, you're going to love the shit out of this one. One sample of pool water. I just filled the larger vial for pH on the test in the test block on the left. Now I'm taking just a little bit of boric acid, and I'm going to add that to my sample so I can establish a borate level in this one. And that's enough to give me 50 parts per million. Not a lot, it's really small measures in this. I'm gonna shake that up a little bit, just invert it a few times so that way I can get my uh, boric acid nice and dissolved and throughout the entirety of my sample. I'm going to now fill the test block on the right with the same pool water as the one on the left. The only difference is this has the boric acid added to it. So I've established a borate level in this sample. Now, I'm going to repeat my pH turbulence demonstration, my pH, uh, raising pH with air due to the turbulence. And you know, like we spoke about, because the turbulence causes the aqueous carbon dioxide to outgas, which results in an increase in pH, something that we do battle at swimming pools to, if they have water features. Adding five drops of phenol red to each of the vials, each of my samples, then I'm gonna invert them slowly. And again, the sample on the left is just the pool water as it came out of the pool, nothing added to it. The sample on the right, we've established a borate level in that sample, just enough to give us 50 parts per million. Now I'm gonna take my aerator, check this out. I went and got an aerator that had two ports. So this way there's absolutely no question in the power of the airflow two ports two tubes same aerator so everything is going to be identical now i'm going to take the tubes you and you can see um the side on the right the boric acid did drop the ph just a hair but that was expected so we have 7.0 on the right we have 7.2 on the left and again that's the difference in ph caused by the initial dose of boric acid but now i'm going to add my tubing again same aerator just two tubes and we have them both bubbling, gassing off that CO2, right? Getting the aqueous carbon dioxide out of there. But let's take a look what happens with the pH. Let's take a look at the effectiveness of a borate buffer system because we're already seeing that the sample on the left, man, that pH has taken off. But on the right, we've hardly moved. And the left is going up, 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 but check it out on the right. And this is the benefit of establishing a borate level in a body of water. See how it resists the change, even with the amount of turbulence.